Welcome back to part 6 of Singapore Vlog 2022. No trip to Singapore is complete until you check out Gardens by the Bay. This is a hugely popular tourist attraction in Singapore. One could easily spend a whole day here exploring the many impressive sights and displays. Gardens by the Bay is made of three parts, the main one being Bay South Garden where the super trees, flower dome and cloud forests are. The OCBC Skyway located in the heart of the super tree groove between two of the tallest trees offer amazing views of the surroundings. There's also a total limit of people on the bridge which means it's never overly crowded at the top. How cool is this lift? What a treat for the eyes! taking us to the top for a night view of Singapore. I must really say we had an amazing time that day. Just taking in the beautiful night scenes and the appearance of the full moon was just stunning. The Garden Rhapsody music and light show is a feast for the senses that you won't want to miss. The night show starts at 7.45 and 8.45pm. It's just spectacular. Looking up into the sky with the music playing over the change of colours in the trees, I thought to myself that this is truly something to remember. My first impression of these sci-fi trees were as if they were taken out of the movie Avatar and are so cool in many ways, not only the visual. They are packed with environmental technologies that mimic the ecological function of real trees. As we entered the Cloud Forest Dome, we were welcomed by the world's biggest indoor waterfall at the entrance. If you go close enough, you can let the water droplets cool you down. The Cloud Forest is kept very chill, a stark contrast to the muggy heat of Singapore. The dome is like a mystical world with a big green and lush mountain covered in mist. The super trees collect rainwater used in irrigation just like how real trees must absorb rainwater to grow. The super trees also help out with running and cooling the flower dome and the cloud forest dome. There are 18 super trees in Gardens by the Bay in total where 12 of them are put together making a cluster of trees called the super tree groove, heights ranging from 25 to 50 meters tall. The largest glass greenhouse is the Flower Dome in Singapore. Walking into the Flower Dome, the same chilling temperature awaits. The Flower Dome is much larger than the Cloud Forest with 3,332 glass panels. One can easily spend the day walking and exploring the beautiful areas. The attention to detail is amazing as to how every corner of the Flower Dome has been meticulously planted. Absolutely impressive. went back to our favourite food court in Marina Bay Sands Hotel where the prices are so reasonable and the food never disappoints. Once leaving the metro, there are many signs directing to Gardens by the Bay. We passed the exit down this long hallway which had floor to ceiling mirrors on both walls and makes for some really good pictures. It's also right next to the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. Do check out our Marina Bay Sands Hotel review video. 
The park, which is about 101 hectares, is located right next to the downtown MRT station, making it easily accessible from anywhere in Singapore. Overall, it's very affordable and some parts are even free. It's free to walk around the grounds of gardens by the bay and around the super trees, which is a must in any Singapore itinerary. Even the super tree light show is free. However, you will need to buy a ticket if you want to go inside the domes. This allows access to both Flower Dome and Clark Forest. The OCBC Skyway is a separate ticket. Gardens by the Bay was the newest infrastructure built since my last visit to Singapore in 2010 and it definitely did not disappoint at all. Make sure to explore and walk around for some stunning photo locations. Chimes continues to remain hip with a bunch of cool restaurants, cafes and bars. Chimes was originally the convent of Holy Infant Jesus. This institute was a girls school run by French Catholic nuns. The original complex included three schools, an orphanage, the nuns' apartments and the chapel that is known today as Chimes Hall. Thank you so much for watching and we shall be back with the last Singapore vlog part 7 of Singapore Travels 2022.